Hello everyone, welcome to Schneider Electric PSC training tutorials where you will learn Schneider Electric PSC programming. In this lesson, we are going to learn what a PLC is, the applications of a PLC, and how the PLC works. What is a PLC? Programmable logic controllers, popularly called PLC controller, is a small computer with separate components that has been designed to automatically control a process. This process may include the assembly of cars, the cocking of a bottle in a process factory. They are usually used in industrial plants and manufacturing factories to control circuit breakers, pumps, motors and other machineries. PLC controllers nowadays are a great mechanism to control industrial operations of large number, especially in machines and devices found in industries. With their advanced usage, for example, process control, they are progressively becoming an important part of automation engineering. Thus, it is of vital importance that training in this field is effectively transmitted to students and professionals who are looking forward to become experts in the domain of automation engineering. What are some of the major components of a PLC? The first is the hardware components. These are the physical components of the PLC that we can see or touch. These are some of the example vendors of PLC, of PLC manufacturers. Next, we have the software component. The software component is what is used to set configurations to the hardware components, which is usually called a programming environment or an IDE. Now let's look at the detailed structure of the PLC hardware. First we will look at the central processing, the central processing unit. The central processing unit it is a unit that contains a microprocessor. Then the memory unit. It is where the program is stored that is to be used to control actions. Next we have the power supply. It is needed to convert the AC main to a DC low voltage. Then we have the input module. The input module is responsible for gathering information, information sent by sensors and channels them to the PLC. And the output module now is the module that the PLC writes to after performing logic on the input. And finally we have the programming device. The programming device is used to enter the required program into the memory of the processor. It is important to note that the input unit is where we is where we attach our sensors and switches and the output unit or the output module is where we attach our actuators like motors like valves and other and other actuators. To get an extensive understanding on what are sensors, what are digital sensors, what are analog sensors, what is an actuator, what is an analog actuator, please head head on to our site at expertlearningzone.com where you will get all the, the technical information you will need to understand what sensors and actuators really are. So finally we are going to look at how the PLC operates. What happens during the lifetime of a PLC operation is that it operates in a sequential manner. So when the PLC is set in the run mode, first it reads the state of all the inputs, which you call input scan, and then it performs the, the logical operation, performs some logic on those inputs, and updates the output. The output now are our actuators like valves, motors, pumps, and so on. And finally, it does some housekeeping. And by housekeeping, we mean that it performs some communications with the programming main terminal and performs some internal diagnostics. That will be all for this video. Please visit expertlearningzone.com to get all the explicit knowledge you will need for this, for this training. Thanks for watching. If you find this video helpful, please like, share, subscribe and comment. See you in the next video.